Hello, this is Abhisachi Mukherjee. You're watching me on LFW TV. Stay connected. I'm back with exclusive interviews that is only available to LFWTV.in with Pandana Tiwari. So you're going to be uh, seeing the interviews of Atsu, Kalol, Anupama Dayal, and Priya Katari Puri. Watch out. I'm here with Atsu, one of the most talented designers in the country. He comes from the Northeast, as I do. So we know where the talent comes from, Atsu. Welcome to the show. Well, thank you. I'm glad to be here. Okay, I want to, I want our audience to know how excited you are after your show because the response has been amazing. Well, I'm very excited because this is my first time in Lakme. Also, the resort collection, this is the first resort collection I've come up with. Um, basically, my the, my sensibility is very tailored, very That's clean. That's what I thought. Yeah, yeah. But since uh, it's a resort and I wanted to make a very casual, easy, free-flowing collection, so that's what I presented. You know, when I, it was beautiful and what I loved most was it's a, such a reminder after looking at your collection yeah. that you don't need all the embellishments yeah, to make exactly. a great dress. Yeah, yeah. Right? It's true. Your yeah. pleats worked for you, the free-flowing yeah. worked for yeah. you. But uh, it is a big departure from what you usually do. Yes, it's it is, but it's still um, you know if you if you see the collection, there are bits of piece, bits and pieces of collection which I have done also, but the same kind of silhouettes. But you know, it's in a newer form, in a newer silhouettes. It's there. Kalol Datta. Needless to say, his show was spectacular. You know, he is one of the most reticent, reclusive designers you'll ever meet. He lives very quietly in a hole in Calcutta, as he says, doesn't socialize or mingle. So it's a great privilege to have him at the studio at Lakme Fashion Week. Thank you for having me. How do you feel after your great show, Kalol? All I want to do is not be so sober as I am right now. Vodka, uh, vodka. You're gone. And, um, I think I'm going to, I'll start getting all the reaction and the feedback probably tomorrow morning onwards. Right now everybody's just going to be complimentary. So You know what, uh, just a few things that I loved about your shows, I can't go on and on because I don't have the time, um, but you have so much wit and uh, like almost like comic timing in your clothing, you know, which you barely get to see with a lot of designers, especially the young designers. Um, there is one dress that we definitely want to focus on which is called the Satya Saran dress which we've been shown during the fittings right. with a long choti that right. is uh, Satya Saran's iconic right. hair. But more than more so, I find there's a big element of clownish uh, motifs in there. You know, I've always been a big believer that um, there has to be a beginner sense of humor in everybody's clothing. Yeah. And uh, for me, I tend to find a lot of humor in the morbid. And uh, that somehow gets translated, uh, you know, from getting inspiration from everyday daily objects and kind of uh, projecting it through my humor onto the runway. I mean, I'm just looking at my show notes and yeah. it's funny, as soon as the show started, my first words that I wrote was dark clown. So I'm obviously in the right page with you, mister. Uh, and here, see, it says comic tragic. With your checks, your prints, your, you know, the kind of colors you use there is this very harlequin element. Right. Now the challenge was to use uh, red and yellow, which are the DHL colors, but also uh, make sh sure that, you know, there was a slight amount of, uh, let's put it this way, uh, the, having the clothes look slightly moody. Right. And that was the challenge for me, like not to lose my own DNA, uh, but also to, you know, take on what the brand wanted. I'm here with Mr. Chandrasekhar Pitre, who looks after marketing for South Asia DHL. And I have to say, what a spectacular show you have sponsored, Chandrasekhar. How do you feel about it? Oh, I'm 
I'm over the moon. Uh, it's the first time we've done something like this and it has been a, a complete revelation. A uh, lot of kudos coming, lots of congratulations and I'm really happy. Well, we're always happy when the sponsor is happy. But I have to say that the choice of two designers like Atsu and Kalol works brilliantly, you know, for, you, for your brand. Because both of them are edgy in their own way. DHL obviously wants a nice young image, you know. I think when you have a sponsor, any designer would come to you. But, um, but the fact that you had two of them, do you feel that they brought out a certain amount of energy that uh, exemplifies your brand? Well, I certainly think so. I think, you know, the DHL brand has these two really vibrant, hot colors of yellow and red. Uh, and the idea was to look at the future of fashions, you know, um, um, and inspired by DHL. So we really weren't too sure as to how do we really go about doing it. So it was the IMG team who actually went and suggested these two young, bright designers. And they said, these are the guys who will really do justice to your brand. And they did. And I'm very happy. They did too, and I have to uh, mention speci especially that Kalol, the way he used DHL branding on the sneakers and the arms. What did you think about it? I found it very creative. Um, you know, all of us were looking and wondering why all the sneakers had that little tape, which was yellow and red sneakers, and he had these uh, arm bands and, and bands on the legs as well. Uh, so it was very interesting, and the first time we've ever seen something like this. Well, you know what? It's great to hear this from a sponsor because I think there's a certain amount of irreverence that's required in fashion especially when it's a collaboration. Otherwise, you lose the, the cool factor. What do you say? Well, frankly, we're in the business of commerce and they're in the business of art. Um, so we don't try and meddle with what they think is creative. Yeah, they are the designers. They know their business well, which is what we tell our customers saying, we know the logistics business well, so leave it to us. That's exactly what we did uh, with them and it worked. Well, we just hope that you will continue this effort of uh, sponsoring upcoming designers. And let's hope that every year you're going to have two different young, vibrant designers uh, exemplifying your brand ideology. We do hope so. I'm sure you'll see more of us with the same designers or other designers, but it's a trend that we would like to continue. Thank you very much, Andrzejkar. Thank you. I'm here with Anupama Dayal and I would like to call her the mistress of prints. Um, love the collection. Anu, I mean, I think resort wear is your forte. What do you say? Yes, it's my turf and I live there very comfortably. <laughs> and how do you go about, you've used so many prints, uh, so many colors. Tell us how the process is and make it, like, make it understandable to a young okay. audience. Um, prints are important for me. Um, because they help me express how I feel and it's my art. I have over 5,000 blocks. Wooden blocks are really my medium and I need to splash them on fabric which is my canvas and tell stories. They are collages and stories and that's really my signature. <laughs> I'm here with Priya Kataria Puri straight after her show, which I think was a super duper success. How do you feel about it? I feel fab. I really do because I think the models look stunning. Everybody looked good and everybody at the audience was absolutely ecstatic. So that was fun. Well, just to prove the point, here is Namrata looking gorgeous in one of your creations. And um, how many compliments did you get, Namrata? Well, quite a few and I haven't really counted, so uh, it's pretty flattering and I, all I can say is thank you Priya. I know, we love compliments, we girls just want it. But what I really liked was this pumped up show, it was sexy. Um, I'm certainly getting some of those kaftans to wear over my bikini. How much work went into it? A lot actually. Uh, not in construction, but actually in design printing. It was six months ahead that I started planning the kind of prints I wanted to do. Started putting the prints together, you know, planning all the layouts, by the way, which I do personally. I don't have a team who works on the prints because then they get copied and blah, blah, blah. So I do everything. So that took like five months. The production took actually one month. You know what, it's a pleasure to hear that because a lot of the times the young designers are like, oh, I brought that collection out in 20 days. I'm like, I'm not sure that's yeah. professional. I think if you bring out a collection in 20 days, it cannot sell for two years. And I, my target is always to sell a collection for two years. That's success for me. If, I, if it sells for six months and doesn't sell after that, I know it's a flop. I would call it a flop. I know this is all sequined and actually mirror worked. Exactly. And sequins. Yes. Ooh, she's got it all. 
But I personally love the prints because they're all Marrakesh inspired. Um, would you be wearing one of those big calf fans by the beach? Oh yes, I can't wait to go on holiday, on a holiday because I live for holidays and, and summer's coming up and oh I just can't wait to get away and just get into one of those very easy to wear dresses. And I agree, they're easy and it was a great show, you look radiant which means you're happy. Yes of course, thank you. I hope you enjoyed all the exclusive interviews with me. Tomorrow we're going to have a few more and it's the finale and we can't wait.